Hey guys, Colin here from CH Gadgets, and this is the Bubos Art Acoustic Sound Panel. They come in a pack of six, and each panel is about 24 by 24. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how these came in the package, how we plan to put them on the wall that you see behind me, what you're gonna need to put them on the wall, what the end results look like with before and after, and if I notice any improvements after installing them, as well as my final thoughts and recommendation. So make sure you watch the entire video. Let's go. By the way, I know I haven't dropped a video on the channel in a long while, and there's a really good explanation for that. And I'm probably gonna break that down in one of my next upcoming videos. However, one of the reasons for the long breaking videos is I kind of moved my studio into this new space that I'm currently trying to set up because I'm getting it ready so I can start rolling out an onslaught of new videos and product for you guys. Because I all got a whole bunch of it and you know, kind of piled up behind the camera and all over the place. A whole bunch of stuff and I need to get them out. So I need to get this space ready. So for the next couple of days, I'm gonna be rolling out these videos where I'm just trying to set up the studio and then in between that, I'm going to be dropping some, some, of those, some of those product reviews. So stay tuned. So, my last few videos were shot in a little corner in my old living room, which was a wide open area, but I didn't have a lot of control over the reverb and echoes that usually happen when I'm recording videos. So, for this new space, I want to put sound panels on the walls of this tiny room and the end result should mean cleaner audio whenever you're watching these videos because it will be less echo and less reverb and it should sound a little bit cleaner. So you know, traditionally most people just jump on the Amazon and get themselves those 12 by 12 foam panels and stick them on the wall to sound treat their room. But no, 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 not me. I opted for the Bubos Art Acoustic Foam Panels instead. And my main reason for going with these is because I really don't like the look of those black and blue foam panels stick all over the walls. And at some level, as effective as they are in sound treating the room, it can start to look a little bit tacky, especially if you have to shoot with them in the back of the frame. And that's just a long way of saying it can get out of control and it doesn't look aesthetically pleasing. And it's even worse if you're trying to maintain a certain decor. But on the flip side, these Bubos panels are much larger since they can cover about 72 to 48 inches of space on your wall. And they're way more decorative since they come in a lot of different cool designs such as the Space Astronaut one that I have here. But you can go through the list and pick any one of those artistic design that fits your style. All right, enough with all the talking. I'm gonna go install these, but I'm gonna also show you a little bit of my process just in case you're thinking about getting these panels for yourself. And at the end of it all, I'm gonna tell you what I think and let you know if it's worth your time or money. All right, so this is a box that it came in from Amazon. As you can see, if you look at the end of the frame, both sides, you can see my arms dangling. So that is how wide this box is. And um, when you go inside, you come out, you get this box. This is the Bubos box. So that big box have this little box inside of it. And then you can go ahead Pop the boots, pull both box open. And here comes those art acoustic panels. And they get these, you got you get it with these little, I guess, stoppers on the hands, on each hands. I guess it keeps the end from breaking just in case the box fell on the hedges. And it also keeps them intact while it's in transit. So overall, I would say I give them a good pass on packaging because they package it well so that it don't break. So you get double box, those little stoppers on each ends. And uh, yeah, it's packaged well. Let's go ahead and examine the pack. Panels. So you get this, it comes inside of the plastic with, um, some instructions, I guess, to show you how you could, you know, the 
there you go. Let me give you a close up in a B roll shot. It's better control. Each. There you go. There you go. That's six of them. Six panels. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and install these right now. Let's go. All right. So real quick before I go, uh, before I go start installing these, I think I should point out that these are really big. They're really huge. As you can see, it is kind of flexible. It is kind of soft, but it's mostly hard. Um, however, you're going to need a few tools to install these. And I think one of those is you're going to need a tape measure just to measure your wall and the space, the area you want to put it. You might want to use some painters tape. I am going to use these command strips since it probably is the easiest way for me to get them on the wall without putting holes in the wall. And uh, what else? You're probably going to need a pencil and uh, a bubble level, one of those spirit levels. All right, let's go. So I finally got all the panels on the wall. And I have to say, I kind of like how it turned out. I really like that monochromatic look that it gives off. Plus, I also like how it just filled the wall and eliminate all the negative space that was there before. Even my girlfriend, when she first saw it, she said, wow, it came out good. So yeah, I, I guess it came out good. However, there are a few things that you need to consider if you want to get a setup like this. The first thing is the price, which is about $89 for a set of six 24 by 24 panels at the time of shooting this video, which means that these are a little bit pricier than the regular foam panels. However, I do have to mention that these originally cost about $196 on the Bubos website when I first got them. So depending on how you're looking at it, the fact that these are on sale, it could mean a bargain for you. You have to figure that out. And the second thing is, these are not going to absorb as much sound as the regular foam panels. And it's pretty simple. These are much thinner and flat, while the regular foam panels are thicker and softer. But these do offer some benefit because it does soften the walls a little bit and reduce a lot of that reverb. Plus, it depending on the design that you go for, it, it could improve the overall decor in your space, which is what this one does in my humble opinion. Let me know if you agree. So here are my final thoughts. Only get these if you don't want to buy those ugly flimsy panels. 
And if you want some sound panels that along with its utility, it can also add some value to your decor. But you probably can also need some additional things to sound treat your space, which in my case, I added a few curtains in different areas that are needed. And I am gonna be also adding a few more of these type of sound panels in different areas, as well as an area rug to finish off my sound treatment. Which would lead me into my next video. I am gonna be doing a desktop setup tour right after this, as well as as soon as I finish off some of the additional things that I need to do in this space, I am gonna be doing a full studio tour and then a full gear tour showing off some of the stuff that I use like the lights, camera, the monitors, and all the other little things that is now in the space that is gonna be running this channel. So if you wanna see all of that, make sure you subscribe and make sure you turn on notification and stay tuned. By the way, I wanna hear what do you do in your space currently to sound treat it? Let me know what you use. I know there are other sound treatment panels that you could use. There are some more bespoke ones that are available, but we're talking about affordability here. We're talking about somebody who's just setting up a simple YouTube studio. They ain't got a lot of money to spare, and they definitely ain't got the DIY skills to build yourself some of those bespoke sound panels, which you could buy, which are really expensive. So if you have any affordable sound panels that actually are effective or more effective than these and the flimsy, ugly panels, let me know down in the comment section. I guess that's it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Thank you for checking out my next month. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Thank you for checking out this video. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm back. I'm going to be coming at you really hard with more videos. So uh, look out for that. Stay tuned. Peace.